Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We're back on Monster Hunter World again. Today we're going to be doing another solo guide, but it's going to be a little bit different than from the regular monster. We're going to be talking about the HR29 quest you unlock after you beat the campaign, so let's get started. So the quest is going to be called Beyond the Blasting Scales, and like I said, it unlocks at HR29. After you beat the game, you get HR13, then you have to grind all the way up to HR29 and cannot continue after to HR30 until after you beat this quest. The quest has you fight two tempered basil geeses or bagel goose or b52 bomber whatever the hell you want to call him but for the people who don't know what tempered means that monster basically means it deals more damage they don't have more health they only deal more damage also since there's two monsters it means their health is slightly lowered because there's more than one of them so to recap if anybody was confused this fight is going to have you fight two basil geeses with more damage and slightly less health now that that is out of the way let's read up on his sociology report and see what he's weak to also, I want to point out before we get into the report, I probably butchered his name, so I do apologize for that. I've been doing that a lot with all these monsters. They're very hard for me to say. But either way, according to the report, his head, wings, and tails are going to be his weak points with his head, wing, tail, and body being breakable and or severable. If you use a melee weapon, definitely want to aim for the head. And if you have a ranged weapon, you can either aim for the head or wings. Doesn't matter. For his weaknesses, he is most weak to thunder, with ice and dragon being the second best option. And for ailments, everything is basically average except blast and stun, so I'd basically want to stick with thunder for this fight. For the recommended gear, you'll want to bring the obvious mega potions and vitality mantle, and I also recommend some flash pods, but we'll get into that a little bit later. I'm also unsure if the fireproof mantle will work, but uh, because Basil Geese does have a few fire attacks, but when I recorded the fight, I didn't use the fireproof mantle, but it probably wouldn't hurt to have. Now, the, now what we're going to do is talk and learn his moves and then talk about the areas, then a few tips at the end. So let's get started with that. So first up, to get this out of the way, Basil Geese will have two forms, one normal form and one where his body is covered in red and orange, basically to signify a fire form. In his fire form, the egg sats hanging from his chin and tail will frequently drop and explode, so definitely be careful in this form because that will catch you off guard. Also another huge problem that occurs in this fight is that most of the time both of them will come during the fight. Highly recommend letting them fight each other when two of them are in the same exact area as you so you don't get caught in the crossfire because their attacks do hurt, especially because they're tempered. Eventually after taking enough damage one of them will leave, leaving you to focus on only one of them instead of having to fight both at the same time. But for the moves, the first move is this head rush attack where he slams his head on the ground and then pushes forward trying to knock you over. Running or rolling away will completely evade this move, no problem. Next move is this dive bomb move where what he does he flies and drops his egg sacs on the ground for a few strafes then dives bomb right, dive bombs right through them making them explode. You can easily run away from the direction of these egg sats and stick it off to the side if you're caught in the area, then end up sprint jumping and it will negate all this damage. If you don't know how to sprint jump, all you have to do is sheath your weapon so that you're running just with your hands and then press the jump button and your guy should jump in the air, flail his arms and he should land smack on his stomach on the floor. It has incredible invincibility frames and you should dodge the entire attack without taking any damage. Another move is this fire blast attack. He will step back a bit and then blast the fireball at you. Simply rolling at the right time will be fine, and also since this is a fire attack, I'm not entirely sure if the fire, uh, fireproof mantle will work here, but I believe it should negate some damage if you're hit by it. He also has a tail smash move. This will only happen if you're behind him. You can easily dodge his move since it's pretty obvious when he's going to slam when his tail is lifted in the air. Another move is similar to the head rush, but what he will do is he will drop some egg sacs on the floor and slam them, causing them to explode all while slightly rushing forward to headbutt you. You can easily run away or dodge roll. You definitely don't want to be caught under him when this happens, so definitely be careful with that because the egg sacs probably do more damage than just his head rushing you, so you're going to be taking lots of hits with this, and you're also going to be caught on fire, so definitely be aware if you're underneath him. For the areas, there wasn't really much in the first area. Uh, there was a huge rock in the first one, which could potentially KO him if he runs into it. In the next area, there is a few rocks similar to that, which when destroyed could be used for a spot for mounting and a slope for sliding attacks if you want to use those as well. And then one of the last areas that I fought him in, which was in his nest, you can jump down to an area on the side for some quick healing if being attacked. There wasn't really us much, much in these areas that I found that was helpful. Now to end this, I have a few quick tips on this Basil Goose fight. Basically, his egg sacs work similar to Nergagante's spikes. When they regenerate, he will do a big attack once they're full to fully deplete them, this move being the dive bombing one we talked about earlier. His egg sacs will also randomly drop when full and when in fire mode will cause some uh, exploding fire damage, and if affected by the fire damage, simply roll three times to extinguish it. 
If you're stuck fighting both of them at the same time, then let them fight it out and dodge if one of their attacks is going to hit you, and only attack if you know you're going to get guaranteed damage. You will have to move very quickly with this because you, you might get hit by the other one also trying to fight you. Next tip is that flash pods also do work on him. You want to save those for when he's in the air doing the dive bomb move so that he can stay on the ground longer and you can get more guaranteed damage because you want to get as much damage as possible while he can't hit you. And also just remember that in fire mode, each move does have the potential to knock off some of his egg sacs on the floor, making them explode. So if you're ever fighting him in fire mode, just be aware that one of those sacks might fall from his chin or his tail and they might hit you. So always be on the lookout for that. If you found some things I missed, like moves that I didn't mention, or rocks that happened to be hanging on the ceiling that I didn't catch in some of the areas, or any other tips that you used to fight this boss or this quest, let everyone know in the comments below so that everyone can be fully informed on this fight. And that's all I have for you guys today. Like the video if you guys did enjoy, it really does help me out. Subscribe if you're new, it covers a lot of Monster Hunter World content such as solo guides, other types of guides. I'm going to be doing lots of builds for the dual blades, uh, guides on the dual blades, and then just builds in general. Uh, things that I'm coming up with that I might think are pretty enjoyable or to be uh, to be put in a video. Uh, but with that, guys, my two most recent Monster Hunter videos are going to be on screen. If you guys do want to check those out, uh, definitely go check those out if you want. And with that, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and peace out.